what you can see uh, here is active suspension uh, and basically to test this we normally use a program called Quansa. So Quansa allow us to perform hardware in the loop simulation. So what we normally do, first we teach students to design using physical laws, uh, using mathematical representation, for example for those who remember maths, using differential equations. So we can model the behavior of a suspension of a vehicle using mathematical uh, representations or differential equations. So once that is done, then we are creating those models and use this is as an actual hardware where we can test the behavior of the suspension. And once we are happy, then we can go and apply it to a, a real suspension of the vehicle. Uh, this one, what you can see, we call is inverted pendulum. So the inverted pendulum, as you can see, if I lift it, if I release, it will go down. So it's not stable. So what we are teaching students here is we are allowing them to design controllers and then they will can see the advantage of the using control system. So we can stabilize and make this pendulum hang, let's say here. So they can start different behavior of stability and how the advantage of having a closed loop control system. Here is a phantom, and this what is used for is used for treating cancer tumor. So what we are doing before you can real actual treat cancer for let's say lung cancer, you need to do this as um, simulations or hardware in the loop simulation. So we got the phantom, and inside is a rib cage. So you have like a lungs. So we can place the stepper motors. So if you rotate around, you could see that we have a stepper motor. So this will be moving the sensor which treats the cancer. Yeah? So the device which treats the cancer will be moving around. As you breathe in and out, the position of tumor will be changing. So we need to control to make sure that we are uh, treating the right spot. So this was a collaboration between Covent University and the University Hospital. Another device you can see is a process control. So what we can do is very applicable for those who are doing oil and gas. So we can control the process. Yeah, the fluid is coming here and rotate and all the way back. And then we can decide how we open and close the valve. Yeah, this is another one. And this one is gyroscopy. So the gyroscope is for multi uh, degree of freedom testing. So we are testing degree of freedom and checking the control in different uh, degree of freedom. So that is a gyroscope for that purpose. So all of these devices, uh, we are giving our master student opportunity to try their algorithms once we teach them in the class. So they will come to the lab and test the, the, the algorithm or the concept which they have done.